the meeting on um, Ukraine was one of the most intense I have ever encountered in my many meetings in the Oval Office. The four of us, all together, led. First person to speak was Leader McConnell. Well, the five of us: the president, the vice president, Leader McConnell, Speaker uh, Leader Jeffries, and myself. Made it so clear how vital this was to the United States. This was so so important, and that we couldn't afford to wait a month or two months or three months because we w we would, in all likelihood, lose the war. NATO would be fractured at best, allies would turn away from the United States, and the boldest leaders, the boldest autocrats of the world, the Putins, the Xi's, the presidents of North, Car uh, North, Car North <laughs> Korea, I like the governor of North Carolina, actually. <laughs> uh, the presidents of uh, North Korea and Iran would be emboldened, thinking that the United States was this soft, fat, a country that lost its way and would take advantage. And so we said to the speaker, get it done. I told him, this is one of the moments, I said, I've been around here a long time. It's maybe four or five times that history is looking over your shoulder. And if you don't do the right thing, whatever the immediate politics are, you will regret it. I told him two years from now and every year after that, because really it's in his hands. It's in his hands. We told him how important it was. It was passionate. I talked about my trip to Ukraine, where I met soldiers who had Russian artillery in range with the drones they have, but had no ammunition to fire at. We talked about four brigades who were ready to go, Ukrainian, no arms and how serious the lack of arms was. And it was the consensus in that room, Zelensky and Ukraine will lose the war if we don't get the arms and don't get them quickly. The speaker brought up the border. We made it very clear to him that we want to do something real on border. And in fact, we Democrats in the Senate supported a border bill that very conservative groups, including the Border Patrol agents, the Wall Street Journal editorial page, and uh, Chamber of Commerce were for, but said to hold up Ukraine, which as he admitted was a national imperative, because you can't do something else which we all should work on, was a non sequitur. There was no logic. There's a logic to solving the border. We want to solve it. But we have to, but we have to do Ukraine right now because there's an await with that can get done quickly because that has broad bipartisan consensus and the border takes some more work, which we'll be happy to work on to get it done.